we have seen the parts of the forcep. Now we will see how it is applied on a female pelvis. First of all, you have to identify the right and the left blade. For that, hold the forcep in front of the mother. The blade which is facing maternal left thigh is the left blade and the blade facing maternal right thigh is the right blade. Important, you have to hold the blades like this. The pelvic curve, this is the pelvic curve should face upwards. It is not like this. So, pelvic curve should be upwards. This is your left blade. So, I'll hold off, take a hold of this. This is my left blade. Now, I have told you that left blade is inserted first. Why? Because the lock is facing upwards. So, if you insert the left blade first, you can easily lock the right blade into it. Now, this is an outlet baby. Outlet baby means head of the baby is visible without separating the labia. So, what will you do? Your, my next step will be after lubricating the forcep, outer and inner surface. First of all, I'll insert my right hand into the left side like this. Why? Because I want to guide this forcep inside the pelvis without any injury. Now, I'll hold this forcep in a pen holding fashion like this. This forcep should be parallel to the inguinal ligament of the right thigh here. So, it is parallel to this inguinal ligament. In a pen holding fashion, I am holding it. Now, my right hand is guiding the entry of this forcep. My thumb is lying at the junction of shank at the blade that is at the toe so that I am guiding it inside like this. So, my hand is there guarding the maternal perineum. The one blade is insert it. Now, I can leave it. It will not move. So, we don't need an assistant to hold this blade. It might move since it's a dummy, but in mother, you don't need to hold this blade. So now, you'll insert your right blade. Similarly, the right blade is parallel to the inguinal ligament of the left thigh. So, now, I'll again insert my hand to guard the maternal pelvis and I'll guard this forcep inside the pelvis of the mother, my thumb is at the junction of shank and the blade to guide it. Now, the, both the blades are inside. Now, if it is nicely placed, then it should lock smoothly like this. So, what were the safety features? The safety features is the blade should lock easily. The sagittal suture should be at the center. The blade should be equal distance from the occiput, right? Last, that my one finger should easily go between the baby's head and the fenestration. Why? Because we want to make sure that blade should not cause undue pressure on the baby's head. So, one finger should easily be inserted. Now, I can pull the baby out using which maneuver? The Paget's maneuver in which my dominant hand will pull the baby and my non-dominant hand will push it down like this. So, the right traction is applied. So, by applying the Paget's maneuver, we will pull the baby out. As soon as the head is out, forcep is removed in reverse manner. So, first the right blade is removed and then the left blade is removed. So, as the baby's head is out, the forcep is removed. Now, we will keep applying the traction. Baby's shoulder will rotate. First, the anterior shoulder is removed. Then, the posterior shoulder is removed and the baby is delivered. So, using forcep, that is how we deliver the baby.